He's faster than this train. He's a master of acrobatics. He can tame wild animals. Sit. But one thing we know for sure, he's determined because he is Determination Man. I'm not even sure. <laughs> About as good as mine. No, yours is good. Oh, jeez. All right. I'm sweating. <clears throat> Hi, kids. Determination Man here with my friend Super Josh. Hi, kids. We're here doing a devotional. What book are we in? Genesis. That's right. Super Josh always knows. Uh, I love doing devotionals with a friend because we get to look at God's Word and study it together, talk about it, and uh, we learn a lot about God through uh, how we see Him through His Word. Uh, you know what? How about you guys join us by watching the Bible story? Because we're reading out of Genesis chapter 1. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Genesis, chapters 1 and 2. In the beginning. The very beginning. Before the first breath. Before the first flash of color. Before the first moment in time. There was nothing. Nothing. Nothing except God. But when God saw nothing, he saw a blank canvas. He saw the perfect backdrop for a work of art beyond imagination. So, God created. From absolutely nothing, He brought forth the heavens and the earth. But there was no shape or form. God's Spirit hovered over the dark emptiness. Then, God called out, Let there be light. Brilliant light shattered the darkness like golden trumpets on a still morning. Bright rays shimmered and danced in all the hues of the rainbow. God saw the light was good. He divided the light from the dark, calling the light day and the darkness night. Evening and morning together shaped the very first day of all time. Then God said, Let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. By His words alone, God shifted the waters, leaving a vast arching space above the sky. Evening and morning rolled past. The second day, God lifted his voice again. Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let ground appear. Dry land shrugged its way out of the water. Islands and vast continents and gritty deserts and towering mountains. God called the dry ground land and he called all the gathered waters seas. But God had even bigger plans for this day. Let the land produce plants and let there be trees on the land. In moments, tall grasses unfurled across the plains and giant redwoods shot up from the dirt. Flowers and grapevines and carrots and corn sprouted and flourished. God saw that all of it was good. That evening and morning closed out the third day. Let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. Let them separate the day from the night. At the sound of God's voice, the blazing sun exploded into being. The silvery moon spun out. Stars and galaxies flooded into space, filling the universe. Pew, pew, pew. God set the sun to rule the day and the moon to rule the night and God saw it was good. That evening and morning made up the fourth day. But God wasn't done painting his masterpiece just yet. Let the seas be filled with living things. Let birds fly above the earth and across the huge space of the sky. 
Instantly, the seas and rivers and ponds writhed with dolphins and octopi, salmon and minnows. Eagles soared and bluebirds nested while ostriches stretched their long necks. God saw they were good. That evening and morning formed the fifth day. But God kept working on his creation. Let there be livestock and creatures that move along the ground and wild animals. At once, animals of every kind appeared. Elephants thundered through the forests and squirrels darted up tree trunks. Monkeys chattered <laughs> and pigs rolled happily in the mud. God saw it was all good, but he had one more creation in mind. Let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish and the birds. Let them rule over all the animals. Then, with his own hands, God formed the very first man and the very first woman, Adam and Eve. I am me. And you are you. And this place, it's beyond words. Unlike the animals, God made people in his image to reflect him. Have children and fill the earth. Rule over the fish and the birds and every living creature. I am giving you every plant on the earth for food. God looked over everything he had created and saw that it was very good. That evening and morning were the sixth day. And on the seventh day, God rested. I mean, his work was finished. His glorious creation was complete. But because God had formed people in his image, they too could reflect his imagination and creativity. The possibilities ahead of them were endless. true story out of the Bible. I love the fact that God's so creative, he made everything. How can we possibly appreciate God's creativity more? Hmm. I know. Let's take a closer look at the things outside. Let's see what we can find. Super Josh, look at these beautiful flowers. Oh, let's get a closer look. They're so beautiful. It's amazing how God created these. I love the purple. I love the green leaves. What else can we find? To the woods! Look at that tree bark! It's amazing! It's so cool! I found a salamander! It's amazing! Ooh, I wanna see it! I wanna see it! Where?
Do you think we could find some more beautiful animals God created? <gasps> oh, I bet we could! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! 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 Oh, look a dog! A lot of them! Go Our it. super speed is no match for these ducks. Good thing, Super Josh, I carry peas in my super belt. Duck's favorite snack. Amazing! Oh my goodness, their bill feels so weird on my hands. <laughs> wow, they eat frozen peas like my children do. Oh man, no manners here. Did anyone know that Determination <laughs> Man had children? Wow, I can't believe how God is so creative. Everything he's made is so beautiful. That includes you. Now, we're gonna keep diving in all month long to creativity, and uh, we're gonna even dive into how God made us very creative as well. So can't wait to do that. But for now, let's worship together. This is my faith, this is my focus, all of my days, I know where my hope is, I live it loud, I shout the chorus, because I know, oh you're always for us, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe, believe, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. And keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you'll go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my focus, all of my days, I know where my hope is, I live it loud, I shout the chorus, because I know, oh you're always for us, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe, believe, and even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you, I will believe, and keep on looking. I'll keep on looking 